That's how goats love each other. <laughs> Give him a bonk. Bonked enough where he knows. <laughs> Urban farmer since day one. Today we're going to show you how to go off-grid with your aquaponics uh, to make an IBC tote aquaponics system powered by the sun for under $400. This is scalable. This one will at least be 200 gallons when we're done with it. We're here with Alex who's going to help us demonstrate just how easy this is. First you'll need to obtain a food grade 275 gallon IBC tote. Get this off Craigslist anywhere between $25 to $100. Food grade being very important. You'll need to find out what was in it. Next you'll need to remove that top bracket on the top of your IBC tote. So what are we doing next? All right, we're going to flip this over and we're going to pull out the plastic so that we can measure and cut out how deep we want our grow bed and then the, uh, the outer rack to support that grow bed. Now that we have the plastic and the metal cage separated, we can cut the metal without cutting the plastic and we'll have a better product in the end. All right, we're gonna take this bottom bracket and we're gonna cut right above this bottom rung. So that will be the top. And we'll flip the cage over and it will sit. That will be the frame for the bottom to sit on. Okay, so after you make your cuts, take your wrap off. 180 degrees, you take your bottom, and now that's your top for your grow bed. So what are we doing here? All right, since our grow bed doesn't need to be that deep, we only need eight inches or so. We're using our frame as a jig. We're just gonna make our cut line all the way across. So we're just gonna cut the top off right now and then flip it over for the grow bed. like a glove. That's it right there. Stackable aquaponics. All right, we're going to be using a flood and drain system on this IBC tote where the pump is going to be pumping in more water then this drain can drain. So it's going to be draining slower than it fills on the low side. So the water will fill up over the top of this drain and then on the, there's going to be another standpipe next to it that goes up to this level, but once it hits this level it, it starts draining faster then. So we've got to install these two pipes into our grow bed. We're going to cut through the metal and then use a hole saw to cut through the plastic. Why? So I can, uh, so I can see your black. Uh, uh, can I screw these together? thing we're going to do is drill two holes with this hole saw which is just a little bit smaller than this drain pipe or uh, yeah just a little bit bigger and we drill two holes here with the hole saw we just did that here and here then we there's a little rubber gasket here these are uh, five dollar fittings ten dollars for the set you get them at you know a local hydroponic shop or or online somewhere so you just slide this in here and go down underneath, tighten that up, tight as you can get it with your hands. And you notice you got two drains. One has got a small, you know, drains at the floor, and the other one drains up high, and you can make these even taller. You can unscrew this, add a link, and then screw these in up top here.
This is perfect aquaponic music. Right? You like it? Hey buddy, you going swimming? Yes. No. Yes. You are. <laughs> Alright, our solar powered aquaponic system is being powered by the solar panel unit right here. We've, we've got it turned away from the sun for demonstration purposes. I'm going to show you just how simple this is. Solar unit is this. This plugs into a charge controller. This controls your charge. This is hooked to the battery right here. Now, this is hooked to your inverter. Here's the inverter. I got the timer for the aquaponics fill and drain. The inverter. Now, now you're plugged in just like regular electricity. This, this turns a DC to AC and powers the whole thing. And these are your solar panels right here. We were, we were able to power this all day and all night. We've got more than double the amount of, of solar capacity in comparison to the wattage of our pump. We've got a small pump in here. What are you doing, Titus? I'm trying to get a fish. Good job. Can I get Okay, you get it. Give me that one. Mm -hmm. My new one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you got Good one. Good job. He's getting better at this. Look at that. First try. Holy. Tell me about your invention. Me. You hold the apple with the zip tie and the rubber band, and if you want to bite, what do you do? Swing it up to your face. Just like that. Let's walk around with it. <laughs>